in Accrington, Lancashire, the home of the Industrial Revolution, which was huge uh, in that period. And uh, there was a hell of a lot of calico printing being done. And behind me is the impressive Oak Hill Mansion. This was built by Thomas Hargreaves. Uh, it was for a manager from Broad Oak Printworks, which is just across the road. Now he purchased this land in 1815 and built this uh, massive mansion in 1820. He was born in 1771 and died in 1822. He married Margaret Wilson in 1793 and then later married Nancy Hartley in 1819 but uh, as manager at Broadock Printworks with Adam Dugdale it was a successful printworks and uh, he made so much money that he could build, build this massive place now it was a museum later in the 1900s until 1951 and it had eight rooms displayed art and specialist collections and it was a quite impressive building for quite a while where everybody in the borough uh, came and visited the museum uh, but after a while it became disused and it was sold for a pound and uh, in 1992 it went up for sale and eventually was sold in 1993 and refurbished as a nursing home. Uh, it's a Grade 2 listed building. The last private owner was Reginald Hargreaves and his wife Alice Liddell in 1889. But as you can see, there's a huge impressive building situated in Accrington and it's just on Manchester Road. And like I said, the print works is just over the side where they can make all the cotton and dyed cloth. Now, Broadup Print Works was a massive print works in Accrington and uh, it was one of the biggest print works in the borough. It was founded in 1792 by Taylor Fortenbury and Co. of Oakenshaw. And uh, that's the area which Thomas Hargreaves later built Mercer Hall and that was also uh, played a big part in Lancashire Industrial Revolution uh, because it was right on the River Hyburn. There's quite a few lodges that brought up printworks and higher up the hill are two lodges and then further down another lodge. The power was provided by seven water wheels and cloth was moved down the stream uh, from one end of the works to the other as it was processed but sadly it was demolished in the 1960s but later it became Caligent Form uh, Works where that works carried on for quite a while and a lot of people had jobs there and worked there happily and uh, it was a, a very big workforce uh, but this uh, uh, mansion behind me uh, it was a nursing home till about 1994 uh, occur home and then later uh, in 2020 uh, it, they left and it is now unfortunately empty uh, and the council uh, own the property now uh, so hopefully it's still as you can see it's preserved quite well and it's been very cleanly restored uh, and it looks very impressive. Thank you everybody.